Hey guys, it's Matt Briars and Paul the Reaper. How do you pronounce your last name again? Paul Benashik. Benashik, that's it. Uh, Paul helps us out here at the Soul Fighter Academy, the JSA, uh, working on some Muay Thai uh, concepts and drills that we can use when we're talking about our, our, our Tri-Tac combative systems. Uh, so he's here today to share us a little uh, tips on how to, uh, three tips on how to apply uh, Muay Thai for uh, reality-based situations, street fights, street combatives, uh, self-defense, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So these are your top three tips, staying on the outside, staying on the inside, and then just really getting in those clinch situations that you cannot avoid. So number one is staying on the outside. Let's say you're a taller guy, you wanna stay on the outside, and all fights usually start out here. Maybe you're going against another person that do, does wanna strike with you. Now, I wanna be able to pull back because even if I eat punches on here, I'm still taking damage, so I'd rather not. I'm staying out here, I throw my punch, I throw my cross. As he throws his hook at me, I lean back and I return fire. So this is a nice drill you can do with any of your training partners or students where you get them to throw punches, react to punches, make them miss, and fire back. How I wanna do this is by resetting the hip. If I throw this punch, I land here and he throws at me and I just cover, I'm still eating that power. With bare knuckles in a real situation that could still be very damaging and could still rattle my brain. So I wanna make him miss completely. I hit him here, he swings at me, I reset all the way back to that hip, bang, then I return again. Once again, I land that punch, he throws at me, bang, again. I can do this with any of my punches. I can start with a jab, let's say. He swings at me, boom, I come back in with a jab, a hook, a cross, any of my punches. So this way I'm staying on the outside, I'm taking no damage, and I'm returning fire. So with drill number two, we're kind of getting stuck in this zone. Let's say we're near a wall. I'm not able to really weave out of the way, so I do have to eat this shot. A lot of guys are really uh, might be scared of punches, or they tend to lean away. So if he throws this hook at me, they lean away here. Then they're getting set up for something much bigger that I'm not seeing because I'm turning away from the punch. So it's kind of the same concept of guys not digging their chin. They're getting scared of the punches. Maybe I'll miss the first, make them miss the first one but the second one is knocking me out. So I wanna make sure that does not happen and I turn into these punches. If he throws a hook from that side, bang, I go into it, I brace with my core, I dig my chin down as I react, and then I dig the punch back. Same thing here, before that hook, bang, before his hands come back to his face, I'm able to counter him with my own punch. So anywhere he throws, bang. So as he throws this punch, the thing is, I don't want to just sit here and wait like this. When you're drilling this with your partners and getting used to it, this is your time to get relaxed. So when I go into it, I want to make sure I'm timing it. As it comes, then I use this to almost brush it off. If I just sit there, I still, I still eat the punch. So it's about reacting. Let's say he has a little bit of skill, maybe he's done a day of boxing in his life, <laughs> then he goes to the body, bang, I'm already down here for the uppercut, so that's the counter for that. It goes bang, 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 and we mix it up. Pop, 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 pop. So that's drill number two. Make sure you stay relaxed. Make sure you're not scared of that punch and you're reacting. It'll be the safest way to get out of the situation and put them away. So we're on to number three now, which is real close combat. So at first we're kind of on the outside, countering back, making them miss completely. Here we get stuck in a situation that we cannot avoid and we have to absorb some damage to give some damage. Now let's say we kind of fall into each other as most fights do when they end up on a street or whether it's in the cage or in the ring. So if we end up in this position, 
Like, he has a hold on me. He's very tight. A lot of people practice elbows, but it's very hard to get any kind of power from here. If I try to throw this elbow at him or hit him, he's going to get his up and it jams me up. So I'm not able to fit anything in. So what I need to do is lengthen him out and get control of his wrist. There are two ways to do this. Is I can, I can turn in and play with the wrist here or I can pull away. So I can soften him up, let's say with a knee, I pull back, see that? Now I get control here and I can swipe that down. Now I have control. He can't get his elbow up. It's not strong enough to defend himself from here, bang. So once again, we're here, we're grappling, we're doing whatever we're doing. I get, this, I get that knee in, I pull back, bang, I hit the elbow. Up elbows. Anytime you're in this position where you're on the inside, you do want to work for any kind of inside control, so you're controlling him. Even if he's hugging around me, I'm able to control his body by staying on the inside, and he can't elbow me or strike me. So I land this, this knee, bang. If I'm on the inside, up elbow, boom, up elbow. If I'm on the outside, I have to work for that wrist control, bang, outside elbow. One more time, I'm on the outside, I knee, bang, pull back, elbow right here. I'm kind of pulling him down into me. He gets scared because I pull his weight this way and then I return forward. Oof. So he's kind of stuck right there. So same thing if I get the knee here, I swim underneath, I pull, bang, upwards with the elbow. I pull him right into it. I pull back, bang, and there's the elbow. So those are the top three techniques that I can think of, of using Muay Thai and boxing in a street situation. Thank you, Paul, for uh, helping out. I really like that last one. You pulled me down. I felt that weight. I yeah. felt that, oh, that elbow coming forward. That was me nasty. So I thank you again for uh, giving us some tips. I appreciate it. And guys, uh, what's your website again? MuayThaiAthlete.com for the best tutorials, articles out there. We're also coming out with a boxing guide for any of you guys that want to implement boxing into Muay Thai or mixed martial arts. You're on Facebook too, right? Facebook.com slash Muay Thai Athlete, at Muay Thai Athlete, on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all the social media outlets. Hey guys, please give him a look, look him up. Uh, he's got a lot of cool shit out there. Uh, definitely will plug into any combatives, or if you're just a Muay Thai fan like myself, uh, some cool shit. Thanks guys. Well, thank you. Getting our tri attack on arm class with our special Muay Thai instructor, Sturgos. What's up, baby? Hey. Yeah. Tri attack on arm every Tuesday and Thursday. Training guys actually how to fight for self defense, reality based combat. It's what we do here tri attack on arm, tri attack jitsu. Big gym. Kicking people. Kicking Wayne. Front teeth, rear teeth. Front teeth, rear Front, rear. Front, rear. Guys, guys are trying to mirror that fight. Guys who are attacking, they're trying to get out of it. Try to put a hand on him if you can. There you go. Hit that target. Oh, no respect for Derek. Come on. That's it, man. Come on. Try to punch him, Wayne. Get in that range. Try to pressure into that range. That's it, nice Jim. Looking good. Looking good right there. He needs to work in a combination of full work and then I'm gonna put in frame four in there. So I'll, I'll interject in a second, so go ahead. Alright guys. We're coming with a one-two, right? Jab. Cross. We step through with the rear leg to the outside of his front foot. Step. Grab with the left hand behind his head his head. The right hand right on the bicep. Drive his upper body to your knee. Ha. Knee. Drop. Push. Low. All right, we're gonna do the same exact thing, okay? So we're gonna go one, two, walk through. Your hand on the bicep, you guys wanna go that grill grip, same thing. Knee, when you come here, think about you guys have step four, right? Frame four, frame away, and then the same thing. The kick the fish, okay? So one, two, walk through, knee. And so you can drop into frame four so you get a nice high cover. Set up your knee kick. I'm your uh, leg kick. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Oh, right. Look at those moves, Story goes. <laughs> Greek dynamite right there. Let's 
Finish it, come on, keep moving. Finish it. One more, Derek, let's go. Nice Adam. Beautiful guys. Come nice guys. kid. Come on, come on. Go. Nice guys. Good. Come on, another one. Step out. Pressure, make it do everybody else. Get him, Sam. Nice. Time. <laughs> Nice, third coast. <laughs> oh, oh, Adam. Chip the leg out. There you go, back up. He's gonna make you pay for that. I know. Leg kicks. There goes legs, leg kicks. Oh, oh, oh. Check it out. Check those kicks out. You got one. Oh. Oh. That's a highlight reel right there. <laughs> Five seconds, what can you do? Uh, Time! I'm gonna check it now. One, two. Alright guys? Check it, one, two. Check it guys, boom, boom. Let that check help you come down. I'm gonna add everything, alright guys? Just counter up the kick. One, two, for now. Yep, for now. The one, two, alright guys? Most important punches. Punches. Yes. Alright guys, start it off, start it off. And then he's gonna come right through. Some guys be like this. <laughs> really? Like some guys be like that. When they throw their lead kick, they go. Yeah, they ask that. Right chip. through. Right through. So throw that out. Yeah. If you want to go to the head, go to the head. If you want to go to the body, go to the body. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Double up. Yes. Yeah, I help you get that angle. Yeah. 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 Ye
do that too. So I'm gonna go away, punch him, punch him, and do, do something like that, you know? So just, set of this one, catch it, boom. Huh? Huh? Like how Johnny was doing. Catch it, boom, boom, boom. Let's get him off balance a little bit. You wanna push him forward? To get him real off balance, that's great. Because sometimes he can still punch. Like he can still do something like that. Like, oh, you do like that? Oh. You really get him off balance. And those punches won't, they won't really hurt that much. Yeah. Alright guys? Let's do it. Let's do it. So I can really throw that one out. Yeah, now we change. Yeah. 
Okay, let's look at one of our last opponents of Pulse Bars Combat Striking, Knee Strikes. So, uh, when I think about knees, we look at some major target areas inside of the knees. All right, I like knee knocks, and I'll show that in a second. Uh, sternum, ribs, all right, the floating ribs, really great targets, and obviously the face. So, when there's, there's different applications of uh, the knees in each different position, and when I'm showing the control positions, I'll also add some of those in. But as a review, all right, let's just start from a regular tie clinch, all right. Very simple, I have my knees to the sternum, okay, to the head. Very, 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 very basic concept. Uh, but you'll start finding them anytime you have a clinch, okay. I can always start working those knees around in the body. And one important concept when finding knees is that I'm also trying to manipulate the head, manipulate the body. Um, for instance, one of the things that we do a lot is called the angle change to set up a knee. For instance, I'm going to take a step with my right foot, angle change, steers him around, which basically loads my left leg for those knee strikes or pull it into the head. So uh, a lot of times when we are we're talking about close quarters combat or moving around or drilling a little more aggressively, we're trying to plug in those knee strikes wherever we can. Lastly is a, is a knee knock. I mean, knee knocks are my favorite. Put this leg back so I don't destroy it. Okay. So anytime I have an overhook, an underhook, head and arm clinch, and I can start spying that knee, and I'm just going to drive my knee through. Boom. All right. Again, it creates a lot of opportunities for, uh, for throws. I can trip off it. Um, a lot, a lot of fun to just destroy the inside of the knee. And if you're training with a partner, be careful on those. You take a couple of those shots, and it's going to change you a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same angle change with the walkthrough, okay? So just imagine I can't go this way, all right? There's a wall or some people are this way and I gotta go the other side of Mike. So if my left leg is forward, I'm gonna have to do a walkthrough on a 45 degree angle and then pivot an angle change to bring him this way as opposed to this way, okay? So I'll start from the same reference point. I'm in the rear, I do rear frame one in attack to his Cranial ocular cavity. I lock it up with braced elbow. I pull him into my shoulder. I grip right next to my other hand and I lock it in and headbutt with the side of my head to his face. Now I'm going to walk through on a 45 degree angle with my right foot as my left hand pulls. So right foot walk through and I pivot with my right foot and pull with my left hand setting up my rear left knee. Now when I apply the knee, I extend my arms up, step, and knee, but that will be in the next section. So now we have two, two ways to take angles. One on the left side with a pivot and pull, with a step and drag, and one on the right side with a walkthrough, pivot and pull. Both setting up a rear knee. And now we'll do both versions with the rear knee added. All right, guys, so now we're gonna do the angle change with the knee, okay, with the direct knee, okay? And again, after we do that knee, remember, when we were working the knees, we can use the skip step or the walkthrough. So after you throw that first knee, you can link it with the other movements by doing whatever's necessary. If he steps back with a walkthrough, you follow with a walkthrough. If he just steps back a little, you follow him with a skip step, okay? But we're gonna work the same thing. I went here, rear frame one, frame one in attack, braced elbow, Hold him into my shoulder, put the other hand right next to that one, batten it down and headbutt. Step out of the 45 and pull with this right hand as I pivot off the left foot, which loads up the knee and brings him off balance. While he's off balance, I extend my arms out and step and pull him into my pocket as I do that direct knee. One, two, and then I could frame one with direct and end it off of frame one direct. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing, angle change, but this time from the walkthrough side. So I frame one, in attack, braced elbow, pull him into my shoulder, lock the other hand next to that, batten it down and headbutt, walk through, pull with my left hand as I pivot off my right foot, 
and then extend my arms as I step and drive into direct knee and then rear frame one to get rid of them. And that is angle changing with knees added in. Added in.